All right, man. Whew. It is hot, man. Your boy gonna be about three shades darker by the end of this summer. I got a feeling it's gonna be a hot summer. All right, we about to get loaded, man. We about to start loading. Get all my stuff together to set up the trailer. So it's all the equipment. So I be needing my my wood, my boards. Keep the uh, keep the cars from bottoming out. And I put them on the top deck. that ladder for later. Subscribe and ask for an unloading video. You ask and you shall receive, my brother. You know, I did, I did, a, I did unloading videos on, um, when I was a company driver. I don't mind doing it again. Ain't really nothing special. But I understand people who don't. Car haul. We're gonna see what it's like. So it's all good. Two separate pickups picking up from here where I'm at right now in the auction and then I gotta go about 15 minutes down the street to the airport to the Enterprise and pick up two more there gotta get all the straps out of the way Yeah, we got a full seven a day. 
So I got five here, two down the street. So anybody, anybody who uh, might be looking to get in the car haul, uh, I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna be putting this trailer for uh, for sale in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna paint it first and uh, patch up a couple more little weld welding spots, and I'll probably paint it again. Finish. The, I never painted the inside, but I'll probably paint the inside. Finish. Probably paint one more time on the outside. It's gonna be up for sale. I'm gonna do a whole do a video on it. Probably a couple of weeks. Put it out on YouTube and put it on Facebook and stuff. But reason ain't nothing wrong with the trailer. Reason why I'm uh, probably gonna look into selling it because I want to get a stinger. Try to upgrade to a nine car. So anybody who wanna uh, get their foot in the door, this is a good good starter. Good starter trailer for you. Get your foot in the door with car hauling. I put the price on the, oh shit. I put the price on all that when I do the video. But thing about the more, the more I, the more I fix up, I'm gonna fix it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta, um, like I said, I wanna do a couple little patchwork, uh, welding spots, and I'm gonna uh, paint it probably one more time and wash it up. And I gotta, uh, I got a little small, I got a leak over there with the, with the uh, switches that, and I'm putting new switches over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm dress it up real nice. I'm gonna make sure. Like, I ain't no, I ain't no shyster. I ain't gonna try to sell nobody no bullshit. So, be look out, be on the lookout for that if y'all, anybody looking. To get a trailer, to get in the car hauling. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, fix a little small stuff wrong with before I put it up for sale. Just because that's me, I wouldn't want to buy it. Sell me no shit that's messed up. But yeah, this is a good starter. Good starter trailer. Get your foot in the door. So I did my inspection already on the vehicle. So now, go ahead and get the low. And let me look at which one of these cars is smaller. Hold on real quick. Figure out where I want to put this smart car. Yeah, when y'all get in the car hauling, this has been my cheat sheet. Google. I, I, don't, I, I know there's a lot of car haulers don't even do this, but I look up the dimensions of the vehicle. Let's see. Smaller. How many civics I got? One or two. Put my cars in. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, like I was saying, most uh most car haulers don't even don't even look at the dimensions. At least cars I ever ran to. I ain't really see too many people doing. I know dispatchers look at the dimensions of the vehicles. I mean dispatching for uh, companies. But like I said, the cheat sheet. When you uh, look at the dimensions, it'll tell you the um, the length of the car, height it is, all that stuff. So once you learn, like, so say let's say your car is uh, 177 inches, 183 inches, and then you see where you put it at and start low as you low, and you'll know. Okay, so a car that's this length can fit right here, and a car that's this height can fit right here. And then also you learn little cheat sheets too, little cheat codes like. Like 
for example, uh, I use my height also as a uh, little reference point. So like when I'm uh, using a, uh, driving a Stinger, like I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see what the view look like. Let's jump before I keep talking. Y'all can't even see nothing. Hold up one second. All right, we good. But yeah, y'all gonna see real quick. You see that purple sting over there in front of my truck? When I was driving the truck like that, it, um, I use my so I use my height. I'm about five nine, so I see where the uh, where the vehicle might come at to me. Like if it's my height or or taller, I know I might can't fit it in a certain spot, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You get what I'm trying to say? You use little cheat references, little cheat sheets, whatever this. See where you can fit stuff and where you can't. But yeah. Let's see. Uh, broke down or something. Put this phone back up. Yeah, these seven cars, these seven car trailers like this, for people who, even people who like, I'm an emergency break it. Even like people who never car hauled before. Y'all can do this, like, this shit is easy. This ain't really complicated. Where you really get in the, the challenging part of car hauling is when you uh, driving a Stinger, because there's a lot more work to it. It's like more of a puzzle piece, this shit's simple for real. And then right here, how you know if you came back too far, you just want to make sure you got it. You can see through between the, the truck and the, and, the, and the vehicle. Just want to make sure you can be able to see through. So I can move that back some more, for real, for real. But this is a small load, so I'd be, I'd be cool with getting uh, four on the top because I, I got to be able to fit four on the top and then three at the bottom. But I'm, I ain't going to have no problem with that because I just said small. Anybody, anybody want to get in the car hauler? Like you start off like this just to get the concept. As far as like getting used to loading, getting used to loading and driving and all that shit. And then you move up to the Stinger. For me, I started out, I went straight to a Stinger. I didn't even start out on one of these, but I, I believe these are the best way to start out, bro. So you ain't overwhelmed. Everybody looking at me like I got this damn camera on my head, probably think I'm the phase or something. That's why I know that's why most of the time I don't really do a lot of loading videos and stuff. Because I don't be wanting to I'm saying walk around with camera, everybody looking at you all crazy. But we good, it's all good. Oh. But yeah, you just load them on there, strap up. Yeah. So Car puller pulled these out for me. I guess like late last night, early this morning. Charged me ten dollars a car to pull them. So you gonna want to do that because you ain't gonna want to be wasting time, wasting time. Uh, low in the, uh, I mean not low, uh, but pulling cars and shit on top of having the e log and all that stuff. Like, 
We have all time trying to make money. Trying to do all that, so just take the little hit. Pay, pay somebody to pull the cars if you can. Unless it's like you got time to spare. Like if, I, like if I'm, uh, like sometimes if I know where I'm going at, if I've been to the auction plenty of times and I know how I maneuver in there, and I know I'm gonna be sitting. Like I'm shut down for the day, then I might pull the car. Majority the time I'm in a rush, so. We have the time to do no pulling the cars. There's some new spots I don't even, I've never been to, so. It'd be a lot easy for the people. They used to come in here, they're just pulling them for me. Man, it's hauling out here, crazy. I got to go one more, just to get to my job. Try and put these, I'm not back this on here, I'm gonna drive it on here. I think I'm gonna back it on here. But yeah, so, also it makes a difference. You know what I'm saying, whether you back a vehicle on or drive it on too, because you like I said, it's like a puzzle. So you might have a, um, you, want, you always want the highest point of the vehicle going down, pointing down basically. So you can always have a low clearance on your height. But yeah, anybody getting a car and you'll learn all that. Hopefully you got a good trainer. That ain't guaranteed though, but yeah. I say the faster you learn how to car hold, it's gonna depend on how good your trainer is at explaining stuff. Your trainer suck ass at explaining stuff. You gonna be like me. It took me about fucking two months to get trained on car hauling, and still my first week out, I fuck some shit up. My first week out, I fucking uh, damaged a brand new fucking Ram 3500. Tore that drone up. Yeah. Well, anybody want to know? You damage your vehicle? Yes, you have to pay for it. But, yeah, I think I paid like two thousand out the gate. First week. See how much clearance I got behind this jump. What we got, bro? All right, so the typical space you're gonna have in between the vehicles, uh, the rule of thumb is like a, um, a fist. You gotta make room for when the car's fucking bouncing and moving around and shit. When you're driving down the highway, Y'all about to get a nice little car haul and train in the day. It's been a nice long video. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it cool the whole time, just as long as this GoPro don't die. So, anybody want to learn how to car haul? You about to learn right now. Better be taking notes. Let's see. See, this is a little less than a fish. Probably move it up just a little bit, but this you gotta also know your equipment. These two spots move the less out of out of the rest of the whole trailer. Like when I lift the trailer all the way up, this this spot barely gonna move. It's gonna move. Um, it's gonna barely pinch. It's not gonna pinch as much as the other spot. The other spots because the trailer been way harder. It's gonna be a lot more. You gonna need a lot. You gonna make. You got to make sure you have that shit. But like these spots, you can cheat it a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and move it up like a little inch. Just to guarantee it don't rub or nothing. Alright. Every inch matters in car hauling, man. You think the smallest a little space don't make that much of a difference, but it really do. But it really do. So yeah, these two spots, I mean these two deliveries. Going to uh, going back to uh, I'm going to Tennessee, Chattanooga. I got shoot over to Georgia. Uh, I like to just come down, come back, and strap the shit down all at once. I just put them on here first. Then strap them down later.
Keep the shop done as you go, but I like to do it later. So that if I have to move anything, I have to worry about it. The last thing you want to do is strap all that shit down. And then fuck around, gotta move it. To make space. Fit all your cars on there. Like I said, even though I know it's a small load, I still stick with my routine. It's the whole key. Get your routine so you can move as fast as possible. Take your time too, man. When you first get out here, you're gonna see a lot of dudes speed driving and moving all fast. I don't do that. Still to this day. Especially not even when I'm taking my don't mind specials. Because um that's when you fuck up something. This is such a great day. Bingo. This one pulling forward, so I need to come up on this other side. Do not want to be behind me or close? set up a lot of guys start out with that's like start from scratch with their own business like you see a lot of when you're doing car hauling you see a lot of dudes a little hot shot because that's like the i say it's like the easiest way and fastest way to get in business doing car hauling and the most affordable but you're gonna always end up wanting to level up Y'all probably looking like, damn, that's all you gotta do. Especially sure after watching this video, a lot of people gonna be like, shit, I might start car hauling. <laughs> yeah, like I said, shit ain't complicated. It's really just not being lazy. You know, a lot of people don't like to do nothing but drive. That shit boring to me, though. Yeah, like I said, them stingers down there. It's a little bit more to it on low and then this is this is the easy way. But yeah. keep leveling up. And it's uh it's another stinker called a high rail. That's even a little bit more complicated than that. See that truck, his whole back trailer, the, the last three cars at the top. All that deck is kind of moved as one when you lift it up in the air. But when you got the high rail, each deck move independently. So it's like way more of a puzzle. Cause each car you could basically move by itself 
But that one, you gotta lower the whole top deck down for you to be able to take the cars off the top. So yeah, that's what I want to get. I want to get that high rail so you really make the money. All of the monies. All right, which one is seven? the seats hot and then who who don't want to drive drive the nice cars around like depending on where you're hauling you know what i'm saying get some you can drive some nice cars every now and then shit i was coming to drive up i drove not a couple of little nice cars Take a little extra lap around the parking lot. You know what I mean? Coming around this corner. Knew it. Ooh. Last thing you want to do is wreck a car in the auction. Boy, I saw that before, man. I was up uh, Pennsylvania, in Manheim, Pennsylvania. Dude was, uh, speeding because dudes be moving fast as hell trying to get these cars in the gate so i think the thing the gentleman was about to close but he still he still was he was od he, he was he was he was oc he was out of control uh what he was speeding though like he was i think he was just like having fun but the dude i guess he like lost control of the joint and then smacked the fence i think his face was all bloodied up and everything looked like a straight retard like you know how embarrassing that is bro like, cause that was, it was definitely uncalled for how fast he was driving in the, in the parking lot. That shit was crazy. Screw some shit up. Got this car hanging up. Okay, we move up. Alright, so I got a bunch of sprints to right there, but I gotta make sure I got something to hook it to strap it down there. Never know you might have to adjust it. I think this shit gonna slide back too. Damn. I think this don't. If I do, y'all ain't see it. You got to put it on the edge and then just hunk it, hook it from underneath. Right. Let's see if I can do it a little closer. I need to at least get it to where I can get, up, get, up, get that wood from up under there though.
might be able to get in that spot, so. It's cool. Yeah. Different tricks in the trade. I can hook it from underneath. See, like I said, right here. <clears throat> this one does a lot of, when you lift it up, it bends up. I get closer together the more you lift it in the air. See, that's enough space. About to start strapping. It's like the rule of thumb. Well, so DOT limit. If you got that minimum, have two straps on each vehicle diagonally from each other. For example, if I put one right here on this front left steering tire, my second one will have to go on the back rear passenger side and my rule of thumb so the straps they got weight limit weight requirements on the straps you know like what's the maximum weight they can hold my rule of thumb is cars uh, small cars i put uh Uh, sedans, full of sedans cars. I put uh, two two straps, and then any bigger SUVs, I put three. Except for some, except for the car I put on the end. I put three on the end just because that end spot gonna always do the most bouncing and moving around, and because you know what I'm saying, like, one of the most dangerous spots. So that's my OCD just to be. Safe and sorry. I put three on the last car. Yeah. For cars. Uh, two straps. Bigger SUVs. Cars and small SUVs. Cause like this is a little small ass. Honda CRV. I'm about to put two on here though. So small cars and uh, small SUVs. Two straps. Bigger shit. Three or more. And like on this trailer, when I put big trucks on the last part at the bottom, I put four on there. Just the most, the most traction you have, the less the car move around. And I just know that last part be bouncing like crazy. So especially if you got like a, a small amount of clearance to work with. Uh, spacing as far as like because sometimes you guys you can always have a lot of room in between each car like when you're trying to get the money sometimes you gotta cram this shit on here and be kind of close so what you do is put more straps on it keep it moving around keep it from moving around I did that. Did that back tire. I gotta do this front tire.
And it's basically the same. Like this is like the same for, for anybody that flat bed. They know how secure them work. Typically the same. Same thing for real. You want to. I'm saying you don't die and you want this strap. Say if I put a strap right here, you want it pulling towards this way and then I don't know if you see my hand, but that's the tire. You put a strap right there, you want it pulling the vehicle this way. And then the tire, the strap on that side in the front, you want it pulling towards this way. So they're like coming towards each other, stopping the bounce in the room. Had them days in car hauling. Like one of the worst parts I would say is like working in the elements. Like it's pouring down, raining, snowing. Like these decks get kind of dangerous when it's snowing and shit because it's aluminum decks, so it'd be real slippery. close as possible to the tire. I don't want no big gaps. New cars. Some new cars. I uh, I leave the keys in the car for the new cars unless I'm shut down somewhere overnight, of course. But even then, still most for the uh, for the most part, I leave the keys in the in the, in the top deck. The ones on the bottom. I take them out. Cars. I'm gonna be like taking no risks. Sometimes you just have a uh, door lock on you. That's a pain in the ass. Trying to go to your delivery. And you realize the damn car locked on you. Come on, man.
have no room to work with. This with the ladder come in handy. See on the other side, doing the front tire. It's these uh, steps right here for you. A little built-in ladder. But on this little area, it ain't one. So it'd be kind of hard to strap it down. You know, if I got enough room for my ladder. Nope. Yeah, the GoPro overheated and shut off for me. <clears throat> so I couldn't get all of it, but you got the you got you got the majority of it. So uh, oh needs about to go pick up the other two. Summer, summertime, summertime, baby. I'm not gonna do that. Somebody about to be pissed. I can't. I can't wait no longer. So I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I'm about to go pick up these cars, these other two. Give me a shower, something to eat, man. Head down south. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video.